the emergence actually of diffusion models is a game changer in terms at least of visuals. And you might have heard about disco diffusion and mid-journey uh, who are becoming more and more uh, prevalent in, in the last even just weeks, I would say. People are churning images by the second out and posting them all over the place. So it's an exciting time to use those. So how do they work? Um, basically, it started with something called automated image captioning in 2015, when somebody figured out if we have like a ton of annotated images, and I told you before, for example, that ImageNet has by now, I think, millions of annotated images, we can have a neural network understand what the scene is actually, what the scene is, what it's seeing, not just in details of there's a person, there's a lamp, there's a statue, but what is the whole thing? So the automated caption in this case was people walking on a bridge. Yeah. But what happens if we turn the whole thing around? What if we say people walking on a bridge and then we let a neural network generate the image? I mean, just reversing the direction of information. This is a, an idea that has been repeatedly used, uh, like GANs operate like that. Um, um, uh, deep dreaming operates like that. So there's like a variety of concepts that do that, that, that sort of reverse of information thing. It's a good trick, it seems. Uh, this was actually developed by uh, Elman Mansinov and others at Amazon Web Services. And his main interest was not necessarily to create, um, re recreate existing scenes, but to create novel scenes. That is really, really exciting. Uh, and of course, it was published in a paper. Um, here's, I think these were the first attempts they made to use prompts to create images. You can see it's not particularly sharp. Um, it, it's also very small resolution. This is, by the way, one of the uh, recurring problems in working with neural networks, the resolution of images. Uh, I'm not gonna repeat here like how all these different neural networks operate, but I'm just gonna go to the diffusion model. So diffusion models are inspired by non-equilibrium thermodynamics actually. They define a Markov chain of diffusion steps that slowly add random noise to data and then learn to reverse the diffusion process to construct desired data samples from the noise. I don't know if this tells you anything. I hope this next image is going to be a little bit more clear. So if we all know that, for example, you can add noise to images, right? If you can take an image like, uh, like here, uh, Gary's Bilbao project, and in Photoshop, basically, there is a Gaussian noise um, algorithm, uh, just, just a filter. And if you, if you crank up the filter more and more and more, it will basically end in random noise, right? So what diffusion models do is they reverse the process. Basically, they take a random noise image and then start to organize uh, the, uh, the pixels in a way that they um, um, they actually uh, work with the prompt that you gave it. So this is, by the way, a process is going back and forth, back and forth all the time. So it's not just one direction or the other, but it's actually really going a back, it's, it's really a back and forth um, uh, process. Okay, so what are we doing with that? Um, let me show you a couple of examples of recent things. Um, like you saw the one that when we did this high school, right? Which was very abstract, very colorful, but completely abstract, right? Now, I used here in Mid Journey um, a prompt uh, titled Photorealistic Palladio Villa by Night in Rain, Trending on Art Station, 4K, High Detail, Beautiful Light. And now you're getting things like this. So it obviously learned a lot in the meantime to really understand far better uh, how this operates. Actually, I don't think this is Mid Journey. I think this is actually uh, Disco Diffusion. Um, so also between Disco Diffusion and Mid Journey, that's already a step forward. But talking about aspects of estrangement, these are the things I'm interested in. Too. The, the areas where the machine isn't really able to produce a convincing image, but actually more or less guesses what it could be. So in this part of the image, the, the, the curve fitting didn't work so well. And that's exactly where I think the interesting things happen also in terms of architecture. Unfortunately, it also means that you can imitate things very easily. So if you prompt me on the Roy building, it will create things like this. They're quite convincing as me from the Roy images, uh, which means also that we're going to see tons and tons of imitations of existing architecture. More complex prompts give you really interesting results. Uh, like, I mean, looking down a fantasy engine, many buildings, heavy rain, etc. And you get quite convincing images here. So, I mean, I think that for uh, concept designers, this must be quite a scary moment now because concept designers are going to have a hard time to compete with this. 
architecture is a bit different because architecture has so much more subtleties in terms of understanding how it operates, how it works, how the material uh, um, uh, construction is and so on. So there's a, there are many, many layers that we still have to cover and, 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 and talk about before we can really say that uh, it will produce anything of meaning. So for example, here, a prompt like section drawing through an opera house. And yeah, they look kind of like sections, but this is not an opera house. It's probably not gonna work either, but it might be useful as a starting point. You know, I mean, I think I, I consider these machines not so much something that we replace human ingenuity, but that actually expands human ingenuity, inspires human ingenuity. And you can have a lot of fun with it, like doing things like this, just asking an AI, what's the most beautiful house in the world? And that's the most beautiful house in the world, according to an AI. All right, so this actually, yeah, no. Um, anyways, you can really, really produce incredible amounts of imagery very, very fast using this new text to image conversion uh, neural networks.